Hey guys, it's Rosie. Welcome back. Today I'm going to be doing a pretty fun DIY, or at least I hope it's fun. Um, I'm excited about what I hope the results will come out like, so I'm going to be uh, bleaching a pair of jeans that I bought at Goodwill yesterday. These are the jeans. They were only $6, so if it doesn't work out, then I guess it's fine. But I do have kind of high expectations. Um, I found two pairs of like zebra striped jeans um, on the internet. One's on Princess Pally, and I think they're like 75 bucks, which isn't terrible as it goes for the scale of like clothes prices. But I did find another uh, like designer pair that they were men's, but like it's the same idea. Um, they were like 900 bucks, but they're like on sale for 400 or something like that. So um, I could make these and although they aren't quite the right wash, they're a little bit darker, I could soak them in like a bleach water solution later for a little bit just to lighten it up, but I'm pretty fine with how they look right now. So um, I'm not really sure how long to leave the bleach on, to be honest. I'm kind of just going to wing it. Uh, I was thinking about starting with like 15 minutes, but first I have to outline what I'm going to be bleaching and what I'm not. So I was thinking either chalk or like pencil or something. So yeah, let's get doing that. I'm going to try on these jeans for you guys in a second, but first I just want to um, explain something. Um, you're probably wondering why I have this big splotch on my butt. That is because these are work pants and um, they used to look fine, but we were painting and I fell against a freshly painted wall. So now there is a splotch of paint on my butt. So yeah, I mean, these pants aren't perfect anyway. They do have holes in the knees, but that was really the ceiling factor for why I stopped wearing them. But let's try these on. So I picked this pair because they fit me like just about perfectly, especially for low-waisted jeans because I feel like low-waisted jeans just normally don't fit. So here's the pockets. They are from Express. Um, they're a little bit boot cut, but I kind of like it honestly, and they are a bit dark wash too. The bottoms are kind of flowy as well. You can see like there's a little space there, so it is a little bit of a um, early 2000s style, but I think they'll be cute, especially if I like put them in bleach later on. This is probably not something I'll do today, but I will be doing the zebra thing. So I'm going to get started outlining the design, and then we will go to bleach. So I finished the front of one side and I'm going to continue doing this. I'm just using this chalk to mark it out like that and I am modeling it off of this from the designer's website, Roberto Cavalli or however you say it, but I like this one best. So I'm out in the garage and I'm just finishing up with the chalk. I'm going to keep marking the back and then we will get started with the bleach. Here's the complete back of the jeans, so I'm going to set up a show on my iPad and pour some bleach into that cup, um, use one of those paint brushes, and put on my gloves, set up a time lapse, and then we'll go. So here's what the jeans look like right now. I'm just going to give them a few more minutes to kind of soak in. I did a second layer and then I'll go rinse them out with the hose and then throw them in the washer. Okay, so the jeans are in the washer now and I'm going to go take a shower. I just feel like I have bleach all over me. Even though I don't think I spilled any really, I just, I definitely smell like it. So I'm going to go take a shower and then I'll have lunch and then hopefully the jeans will be done by then and then I'll throw them in the dryer and we'll try them on. So far they look pretty good. I'm pretty happy with how they came out. Um, I'm a little afraid some of it's going to be a little yellow, but I guess we'll address that problem when we come to it. So 
yeah, I'm gonna go shower. The pants are all done, so I'm just getting on some shoes to go outside to show you what they look like. They still stink terribly of bleach, so I'm just wearing like a regular black shirt with this because I don't want to make all my other clothes smell like bleach. So this one is going in the wash right after this because it's already dirty anyway, so it doesn't matter. But um, I will need to wash the pants again soon because they do like reek of bleach. Um, and also, I might want to touch them up someday. I'm not going to do it anytime soon, though, because I think they look fine for now, and they're just about exactly what I was shooting for, so let's take a look. Thank you guys so much for watching. I feel like these are just about exactly what I wanted to make, so I'm very happy with them. Like I said, I might touch them up later, but I think, like, in the grand scheme of things, they turned out pretty well. So I am pleasantly surprised because for a while in there, um, it seemed like the back of it was just going to turn yellow because it had been too long. But um, actually, I think that was just the chalk that I put on before. So yeah, I would definitely recommend this. Just be careful about um, trying to be even with the times that you keep the bleach on um, because the back is a good deal lighter than the front. I'm okay with that, but if you aren't, just be careful about that. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to follow me on all social media at Rosie Revolts and check out my Etsy shop also at Rosie Revolts and my book at GetOutdoorsBook.com and I'll see you guys later. Bye!